Hey everyone, and welcome to the Grow Hemp series. Today, we'll be growing a batch of industrial hemp seeds indoors to test for CBD and THC content. So this is similar to the first industrial hemp seed grow we did in Grow Log 14. Except instead of letting all of the plants grow to maturity, we'll be removing the male plants that appear so that we can let the female plants focus on cannabinoid content and then send that into testing. These are industrial hemp seeds that were sold by the thousands to be processed into consumables and oils. And since we're not growing this plant to try and harvest for industrial use or to maximize the flower yields, I'm starting the grow in two small fabric pots. And since I don't know how many of the seeds are actually going to be female, I'm germinating three seeds per pot. I'm also starting with a 12 and 12 hour light cycle right away since I want the plants to finish flowering as soon as possible. It looks like 5 of the 6 seeds took and we'll just let it grow until the plant starts to show its sex. As for the soil, I'm going with a basic miracle Grow potting mix which I wash down with water first to try and remove as much of the built-in nutrients as possible since these soils are too high in nitrogen for the hemp flowers. And while I highly recommend using any other soil for hemp, especially those that have no synthetic fertilizers built into it, I'm going with this since it's the most common soil available nationwide so for those that have no other choice, this shows that it is still a viable option. It looks like four of the five plants are male, so I'll have to remove these four and now just focus on the one female flowering plant. The plants are housed in a 3x3x6 three by three by feet grow tent with a quantum board style grow light that's able to support the entire tent rather well. There's also a clip-on fan attached to the side of the grow tent to give the plant some airflow, a digital hygrometer and thermometer to monitor the grow space, and a basic inline fan that's just placed on top of the grow tent to exhaust the air out. As with industrial hemp, I found that as long as you keep the plants small, they really don't make much of a smell when compared with something like a medicinal hemp plant. I'm also using a bloom fertilizer for the entire grow each time I water to get more phosphorus to the plants since that helps them build the flower and bud growth. And I'm going with a powder fertilizer for this.
The plant seems to be ready for harvest now. And a close look at the flowers show that although there doesn't seem to be much trichome development on the buds, there still is some there, so we can send it in for testing. To harvest the plant, I'm just removing all of the large fan leaves before hanging it up in a cool dark place to dry for a week. And now that's done, it's time to send it off to the lab. As for the results, in the end the plant flower had a 0.16 total THC percentage, which is well below the 0.3% needed for this to be classified as a hemp plant. As for the amount of CBD, it came out to 0.49%, which is pretty low as well. And while this test was successful, I'll be doing one last batch of industrial hemp seed grows to send in for testing, since I was only able to get one female plant from this group. And that's it. Like the content? Then be sure to check out our beginner's guide to creating CBD products from scratch, available at Amazon in print and digital, with links in the description below. You can also find us at hempinapot.com. <laughs>